Hey everybody, Logical JJ here. Today I'll be showing you how to get to the hidden rooms in the Arena Tavern. I will also be showing you a, I don't know if it's new, a Disney Easter egg where you can find Nemo. It's new to me, I just found it today. So as you can see, I'm sitting atop the Arena Tavern in the upper room. There are two rooms hidden up here. This one, as well as a small one. Hidden areas in the Sea of Thieves provide great opportunities for players to really get creative and sometimes use them to our advantage. There are a lot of hidden areas on this game, but since the tavern is right in the middle of the original map, this is the most important one to know. New players and solo players often run into trouble with storing loot on their boat. The problem with storing loot on your boat is that it attracts thieving pirates. Oftentimes, experienced pirates board your ship, and if there's nothing good, they'll just leave. So with that in mind, let's run through a few hypothetical but very possible situations. Say that you have an Athena chest of legends, and you are either being chased by other pirates, or you just want to hide it until you can get your emissary rep up. Storing it in one of these hidden rooms would be most ideal, as people hardly ever go up here. The Arena Tavern is right in the middle of the original map, so many Athena voyages will take place in this area. If a player is chasing you, I would recommend grabbing the chest and circling the tavern. As soon as you are out of the player's sights, you can jump or fall into the water using your boat to block their view. And make sure that your boat will keep sailing and not turn into the tavern. More than likely, they'll keep chasing your boat, not even realizing that you're in the water with the chest, and you'll have ample time to hide the chest in a room or really anywhere that you think is best. The rooms are actually great for PvP as well. I like tucking at the Reaper's hideout sometimes, but it can be boring if you don't have a lookout. As you can see, the window behind me is the perfect view of the Reaper's hideout. You can hide your boat at the tavern while your crew tucks at reapers. From this window, you'll be able to let your crew know where the enemies are docking and what ship type they have. You can also use it as your cue to sail your ship to the hideout and attack or act as a distraction while your friends sell or steal the enemy loot. So now that we know why these rooms are important, I will show you how to access each one and also where you can find Nemo. There are two ways to get to the top. The cannon is obviously the fast way, but it's loud and it doesn't allow you to bring loot. From up here, you can access both rooms, but I'll be showing you how to access them on foot. This is also a great place to practice that dolphin lunge that I so badly need to practice. As you can see. Okay, the smaller room is right in here and the larger room is right up here. And I am on the bottom dock, so we will just work our way all the way up the dock and to the back door of the tavern. Once you get back here, you just need to climb this mast, and I like to look in the direction of the floor so my pirate will fall towards it when I get to the top of the ladder. From here, you will see the staircase that goes up, but what most people miss is the staircase that goes down. I don't know if this was DeMarco's office or what the point of this room is. It has been in the game since they added the tavern. To get to the second room, you just go around these horns. There is an ammo chest here for some reason. 
You just want to fall slightly to the next deck where you will see a more hidden room. And last but not least, I noticed a school of Nemo looking fish right here. I wonder if it has anything to do with the Disney partnership. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm fairly certain these are not a type of fish that you can catch. So it is kind of odd to me that they would make that they would be here. They definitely have a striking resemblance to Nemo. That's it for today's video. Sorry for the stuffy nose. If you liked or learned anything from this video, please let me know. Thank you.